Hey there, everybody. I'm Lee, and this is Grimly Fiends. And this is a sheet of cardstock. This is my pencil. And it's also day 16 of Inktober. If you can believe it, halfway through this video, we'll be halfway there. Oh, oh. Living on a prayer. So the prompt for today is compass. I have a couple ideas that came to me during the day today while I was thinking about this prompt because I was struggling. I was struggling greatly, let me tell you. So... We're gonna do a couple of things. The first is we're gonna to have to get this drawing together in about 20 minutes. The second is that we're going to have to make it monstrous. That's the single most important thing because that's what the channel is all about. Here at Grimly's Fiends, we talk about monsters, myths, and magic. So we're making it monstrous. At least every single prompt that we've done so far, we've involved some sort of monstrous character or creature with it. With today's prompt, I was tempted to just go completely overboard and just take it to the limit, do as much as I could, take all the time that I needed, and just draw, draw, draw. But I also realized that this 20 minute time limit has actually been kind of fun. Some people have been enjoying the suspense of whether or not they can do it in 20 minutes. I don't blame them. Sometimes I start the prompt myself wondering if I can do it in 20 minutes. So let's get our let's get our monster locked in first. This was a tough one. The prompt of compass. It's not something that, you know, is a compass an everyday thing? Not really. It's actually kind of antiquated. I think my phone has a compass on it. I haven't seen a an actual dial compass in quite some time. introduced me to something I, I hadn't actually seen much of, or I hadn't paid attention, which is the, the vintage jack-o'-lanterns that didn't have the features that I'm quite so used to right now. They don't have the jaggedy teeth, so that'd be fun to make a more vintage-looking jack-o'-lantern. Needs a scarf, it's cold chilly days, and jack-o'-lanterns need to stay warm. likely some sort of reanimated golem here. That's kind of, that's the kind of pumpkin guy that's going to tuck his shirt in. That's what he seems like, to me at least. Almost five minutes in, and I think we're at a good point for inking. Thank you. 
funny about me not really paying attention to the style of jack-o'-lantern is that I'm pretty sure that this is the style of jack-o'-lantern that the, the pumpkin village in Over the Garden Wall is. So, you know, you think as fascinated as I am with that show that uh, I would have noticed this a lot sooner. It's just a great design. I have a, a fun feel to them. Cuff pants. He's, he's a throwback in more ways than one.
pretty good place there. So the question is, do we add more? Do we add more? Always the question, do we add more? Is there more to be added? The answer sometimes is no. But today I think the answer will be yes. Let's have a few minutes on the timer. see that or not but there's a fruit fly who's decided that it's a art fan and has been deciding to uh, hang out and check out the markers probably a marker fume huffer if I know my fruit flies it's a it's a rare species giant Sharpie ASMR time, brought to you by Ryan Richards. And he's a Patreon backer, so we'll just say that he's sponsoring the giant Sharpie ASMR action. That's all on you, Ryan. And I also wanted to take a minute to thank everybody who's just been so supportive during this period. It's been really cool. We've got a lot of new subscribers, a lot of new people checking things out. And uh, the feedback and enthusiasm has been just amazing and super motivating. So thank you. Thank you, everybody. I really appreciate that. I would love to say that I'm one of those artists that doesn't really do it for the appreciation. I like to think that I just do it because I like the art, the act of creation, but truth is, 
there's nothing like knowing that you were a positive influence on somebody's day and that something you created made somebody happy or entertained somebody in some degree. So yes, I, I do the art for the art's sake, but I also do it because I, I think it's a way, I think the art, the act of creating art is kind of a superpower. It's kind of magic in a way. And that if you're doing your, if you're doing justice to your art and you're having fun with it, and that in turn causes other people to have fun, then you're just doing something good for society and for the world. So not that I have that strong of an opinion of my own work in that regard. Um, I'm not that vain, but I know that there are times that something I've drawn or something I've sculpted has just made somebody's day. And that is awesome. And that really makes me happy. The timer is running down. And I really want to put a little color in this. But it may be that we're just going to do the black and white line art. Let's call it good. That's where we're at. It's about 21 minutes on my timer, which tells me that time is pretty much up. part here is that this is something that I can come back to. I can definitely add color to uh, at a later time. But this right here is day 16. Compass in the bag. It's done il finito. And I'm really happy with how my vintage jack-o'-lantern turned out. So thanks so much for tuning in, everybody. If you like what we're doing here, please scare up that like button. And of course, you can let us haunt you forever by subscribing to the channel. There is so much more literally half a month's more worth of October content coming. The best is yet to come. Mm -hmm.